My name is Anthony Francisco, and I'm a senior visual development artist at Marvel Studios. At Marvel Studios, I'm part of the visual development team that um, designs all the heroes and villains for the MCU. We design the costumes, creatures, and um, do keyframe art for the production. Uh, I've been uh, doing concept art for 20 years now. Um, eight years of it has been at Marvel Studios. Uh, the first movie I started working on was Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, followed up by Ant-Man and all the way down to uh, Infinity War and Endgame. So um, I'm, I'm known for designing Baby Groot and uh, Dora Milaje, uh, two of my favorite characters I've had a you know, pleasure designing. Going through the Spectrum entries was, um, was an interesting task. I haven't really judged so much entries before. Uh, it wasn't quite as tiring as I expected it to be, but it, it, was, it was cool to see a bunch of different types of art. And uh, the difficult thing I had, I guess, is uh, finding my favorites because they were all pretty cool. So the first time I started collecting Spectrum was uh, before I even started my career. It was like uh, years back. Yes, this is the one I remember buying first and this, I remember this image and this, Brahms. These were my two favorite ones I think that I had here. Actually everything is good. There's a, just a big change from how the art used to be before and this one, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, the Spectrum magazines were like a big uh, resource for me to, to just be inspired. Uh, and now it feels like a uh, full circle for me because I'm actually judging this time and it has an emotional kind of value for me. Alright, so for the next submission for Spectrum, um, just a few tips. Uh, you need to make sure you categorize your art with the right uh, category and uh, put your best stuff in and don't don't submit too much work because then it'll, it'll be it'll not be as streamlined. I, I noticed that that when I was looking through art that had too much of the same kind of work, uh, I just choose one of um, one from the five that look the same. So uh, choose your best one, and um, but don't be afraid to submit. Uh, you have to submit and see if you could even get in. Then you could gauge your work better, uh, and if you get in, then you know that means you're one of the best. I enjoy teaching. I used to teach at art center like for a couple semesters. Nomen and Cosmo Design Academy is, is one of my favorite places to teach. Uh, it's, um, I really put a lot of time into helping students. I really want them to, to learn and to really pull out what they, they already have, like the, their own design sense. But eventually I had kids and my, you know, my wife said, time to teach your kids stuff instead of like spending so much time because we would teach uh, till like we'd go over the teaching time uh, my path from the Philippines to here uh, in terms of art was uh, and then it's, a, it's not really difficult but I think I was just very determined I wanted to be an artist even though the relatives around me didn't really think that that's a course I should be going for so so I went to college in the Philippines for a little bit, uh, USD University of Santo Tomas, and I took advertising because at least with that you could make money while you're being creative, uh, not totally like a painter or a fine artist because that was uh, they were worried that I won't make any money. But uh, I love like designing creatures and watching a lot of horror films. That's all I really like to do, and I, I didn't know there was a job designing monsters until I got here in America and uh, luckily for me that uh, there was something like that or else I wouldn't have made any money because <laughs> I wanted to do that. To do that. Uh, my grandma used to say to me, why don't you just paint something beautiful instead of these monsters and you know funny enough I got my first job designing monsters for a horror film. Uh, also for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That was like my first job in TV. So yeah, so from the Philippines to here and um, Magic the Gathering, that's another card game that 
inspired me to want to be an illustrator and to know that there's a place for illustrators. I think coming to America has kind of opened my mind to that more. I ended up not uh, going to college for art, so pretty much on the job training. And nowadays you have a lot of tutorials online you could learn from, so like being an artist is so much easier. Uh, easier in terms of you got the uh, you got the resources. But harder in terms, you gotta be disciplined to do it every day. And if you're not disciplined, then it's better to go to school or something. When I was nominated and eventually won the award, the Silver Award for Concept Art, it, it really felt really good because, um, first of all, I collected Spectrum when I didn't have a career yet. And to actually be able to get into Spectrum and get nominated for work that I put so much of my, you know, heart and soul in it, uh, the Dora Milaje for Black Panther. Uh, the meaning behind that is, uh, I guess you could say, very emotional to me because I wanted to make sure that um, it represented uh, all, like years of my design sense is, is all in there. And if um, to be recognized this, this way meant a lot to me. Uh, it's also part of the Me Too movement. That's another thing when, when I was painting that and designing it. It was the same time as that. So the tension in the air with all, all this stuff happening made it feel like this has to be like uh, these women have to not look scantily clad. You know, they have to feel powerful. And, and um, the design I put into them is to make them look more powerful and not uh, like sex objects. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so there's it, a, a lot of pride in that. Um, yeah, I feel like that's one of my best work so far. But even I feel it's good, but it feels better when everyone else thinks it's good. Because, uh, you know, us artists, we're always insecure. <laughs> uh, at work, it's everyone in a way feels like that, even though they're so amazing. Uh, one of the, uh, uh, Phil said it right when he's saying, you get inspired and uh, insecure at the same time because <laughs> you're like, wow, I want to look around and look at what everyone's doing. It's all amazing. And then you go back and, wow, why did I think of that? You know, uh, but then everyone does that to everyone else. That's why the environment is such a big, uh, um, inspiring environment. Uh, Marvel Studios, visual development. So. Uh, it also helps that we're all friends. We know each other for a while, but we never thought you know, some of us would get this far, you know. There's this question that, that I, that's, that's always been asked. Uh, I mean, you didn't ask this question, but for some reason, it, it, it went in my head for some reason. People would ask, is it what you know or who you know? And I, I kept on thinking about that. Even just to ask yourself that question, it's almost like you don't want to try hard enough because if you don't know anybody, but you love what you do, you still just do it. And you, and it's what you know really that gets you somewhere. Your art finds the people that you need to know. Because even if you know someone and you have nothing to show, you get nowhere. So it's a little bit of both, but it starts with what you know. It, it, it's almost like a cop out. You're so afraid that you'll fail, that you'll find a reason saying that I don't know anybody in the industry in LA, so I shouldn't go there to, to even apply. You know, So you're already not even trying. By, by saying that statement. You, know, you shouldn't even have that statement. Just do what you love, you know? Yeah, and if you do it good enough, then send it to Spectrum, and then your work gets in there, then, you know, people see it. So I think it's a good thing to just push yourself.